we want to talk to our Premier about this mandate. I'm here outside of Premier Heather Stephenson's constituency office where dozens of UMPA members are demanding to meet with the Premier to discuss a free and fair bargaining deal. Faculty at the University of Manitoba are now on day six of their strike as educators are wanting to bargain with their employer without government interference. UMPA members gathered in front of Premier Stephenson's constituency office on Grant Avenue Monday morning hoping to get a chance to talk with her. We really just want to get this done and over with, right? I mean, this this strike has been going on for a while now, uh, and, and anything you know passed right now at this point lays at the hands and feet of, uh, of the government, and it lays at the hands and feet of the administration. Brenda Austin Smith, president of the Canadian Association of University Teachers, says the longer the strike goes on, the longer it affects students and faculty members. Everybody's very frustrated that this is the second time in five years that people have been driven out on the picket lines and it's precisely because of provincial interference in what should be collective bargaining negotiations between an employer and a group of employees. November 2nd was not only the first day of the strike but it was also the same day Heather Stephenson was sworn in as Manitoba's 24th Premier. Austin Smith says this is a great opportunity for the new Premier to start things off on the right foot. Take the right steps Heather Stephenson please. Do the right thing. Be the heroine of the moment and back off from fear and fair collective bargaining. U of M librarian Lyle Ford says he's simply annoyed with Premier Stephenson. She's refused to answer emails, phone calls. She's, she's not available. She's not responsive. Uh, she could end the strike by taking down this, the mandate. We reached out to Premier Stephenson regarding her stance on the ongoing strike and received this response. While this is reading week with no scheduled classes, no one wants further disruption to students and families already dealing with the pandemic. Government is not the employer and the university and UMFA are still in negotiations through mediation to explore resolution. None of us actually want to be here right now. The only reason we're here is because this is an obligation because we feel that this this is the right thing to be doing, uh, and uh, and we're not going to go down without uh, without making sure of that. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.